which can help the quality of life which can help the quality of the life of the um, whole family as the unit so that is so i'll just give you one example to understand this a little further see i had one parent which i interacted with and ultimately from autism and delayed speech they went on to ki the most important participation based goal they want to see in the next one month is ki hum picnic nahi ja pate kyu hum picnic isliye nahi ja pate kyunki jab bachcha ko hum picnic le jate hain aur wo uh, वहां पे उसको टॉयलेट या कुछ आता है तो वो डायपर में भी नहीं करता और बताता भी नहीं है गेट्स इरिटेटेड एंड फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड फिर वो हमारा वहां पे रुकना ही मुश्किल कर देता है तो इट्स इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट और बाहर जाता भी नहीं है करता भी नहीं है सो दैट वाज द पार्टिसिपेशन बेस्ड गोल वी फॉर्म की हमारा गोल यही होगा कि बच्चे जो वो पेरेंट्स पिकनिक जा पाए ठीक है और पिकनिक जाने में उनको क्या हिंडर कर रहा है बच्चे का टॉयलेट ट्रेनिंग तो हमारा जो एक्टिविटी वी विल फोकस ऑन इज सो वी ब्रेक डाउन दैट पार्टिसिपेशन गोल इन टू डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज एंड दैट एक्टिविटीज जो हमने उस उस पार्टिसिपेशन बेस्ड गोल को अचीव करने में जो एक्टिविटीज हमने फॉर्म करी उस एक्टिविटीज को हम फर्दर ब्रेक डाउन करते हैं इन टू स्किल्स एंड बॉडी फंक्शन एंड स्ट्रक्चर विच कैन हेल्प अस और विच वी वी कैन स्ट्रेंथन और यूज टू अचीव दैट Activity and hence achieve that participation. And another thing is, usme hamare kya important hota hai? Environmental factors. Uski family kaisi hai? Uski family uh, ke jo wo picnic jin logon ke sang jata hai, wo kis tarah se hamen help kar sakte hain ya kis tarah se wo barrier hain? Wo jo picnic jate hain, wo kaha jate hain? Kis tarah se jate hain? Kis kis? To ham bahut detail fir us participation based goal. के अराउंड काम करने के लिए बहुत डिटेल हिस्ट्री लेते हैं रिगार्डिंग ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स पर्सनल फैक्टर्स एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स एंड उससे हमें आगे आइडिया होता है कि हम कैसे काम करेंगे तो जब हमें वो गोल मिल गया टॉकिंग टू द पेरेंट्स फिर हम उसको एक्टिविटीज और स्किल में ब्रेक करते हैं और उसको फिर हम असाइन कर देते हैं कि हम चाहते हैं कि उसको जो पॉटी ट्रेनिंग की सेंसरी सिस्टम है कि उसको सेंसेशन हो और वो सेंसेशन पे रिएक्ट करे वो हमने ओटी को दे दिया एडीएल्स की वो अपनी पैंट उतार पाए कर पाए वो हमने स्पेशल uh, एजुकेटर को दे दिया हमने जो वो कम्युनिकेशन है उसका कि वो कम्युनिकेट करे वो हमने स्पीच एंड कम्युनिकेशन थेरेपिस्ट को दे दिया तो इस तरह से हम उसकी एक्टिविटीज को डिवाइड कर देते हैं ईच एंड एवरी थेरेपिस्ट पे और उस हिसाब से हम आगे बढ़ते हैं i hope that's a little more clear in how we work but it's a very 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 nice model and it really helps us achieve targets and satisfaction of the parents which keeps them going in a long run back to you akriti thank you ma'am moving forward with what is the role of psychologist the first thing that does uh, the archana ma'am does is she assesses the child she there are certain tools which ma'am applies like there are weschler's test bkt that is bickett and kama test stanford binet test winland social maturity scale then there are scales like enplen and dst for diagnosing autism then there are certain behavioral checklist then there is a screening test that is mchat she also forwards it with parent counseling sessions which includes a parental educations she uh, she talks to the parents one to one she tries to answer all her queries and then there are follow ups and monitorings these are the certain tests the first is the seguin form goat test in this the uh, child is asked to put uh, these blocks right into the places it's not as easy at as it is seen ma'am also sees that how much movement the child has done how many hand movements or how many trials the child has done to fit uh, it in the each box there are these tests is done three times in a patient in a child and then ma'am forms a cumulative score for that and according to that uh, the test is uh, the score sheets are formed then these are the parts of the weschler's test the first includes the block design test in this uh, there are nine tests in together the first one being the block design test in this 
there are certain blocks which are of red and white color and we ask the child to make uh, make uh, the same picture with the blocks as is shown in the book or as is shown in the uh, card given to the child so and then we have the these all activities are very interactive colorful and the child usually enjoys these so they form a lot of rapport during these conversations with our psychologist ma'am and our uh, pediatrician ma'am and uh, then we have the matrix matching in which we ask the child to match the two similar things like in this picture there are two plants which are green in color so we ask the child we give certain hints in the initial sessions in this book the first uh, there uh, in every uh, after every test after every sub test there are certain examples given so we help the child with uh, telling those examples and then we evaluate then there the, there is a picture completion test which is very innovative and very uh, like enjoyable test in this we give the certain pictures and we ask the child that what is missing so it also helps to identify that bachcha uh, kitna sochta and where his uh, or her domains goes then these are the parts of binet and kama test which has in this we give child certain objects and we ask the ask the child to identify those like we show the scissors the watches the coins kept then we give the cards and in this card like in the card which is uh, square we show we ask the child ki ye kya bana hua hai or uh, we ask the child to draw a similar uh, similar figure in a another piece of paper then there is a chart which has two lines then we ask ki isme se badi line kaun si hai isme se uh, like isme uh, we rotate the card saying ki ye standing line hai ya sleeping line hai then in the third card uh, where there is a uh, picture of a village we ask the child ki aapko usme kya kya dikh raha hai so these all test uh, these all test tries uh, help us to no what child actually how much child can perceive and what what are his uh, iq levels then there are certain behavioral checklist like this is child behavior checklist age for 1 and 1/2 to 5 years and each of these uh, ma'am asked uh, with the parents and then we score it accordingly then this is winland social maturity scale which is an indian adaptation uh, for uh, uh, measuring the uh, behavioral levels then coming to the department of smih that is a cdgc department this is our uh, akriti this uh, put on, put on the previous slide yes ma'am vsms is not behavioral it is social, social adaptive scale right yes, so in any iq <clears throat> whenever we give iq result it is a combination of a formal iq assessment plus a vsms score which gives a social quotient so now in uh, iq the vsms uh, yeah adaptive scale is given as as much important as a formal iq in fact if there is a disparity between iq and sq that is formal iq and social quotient so the one which is better average for the child that is given suppose the child falls in moderate mental retardation in the formal iq and a social iq he uh, falls into mild mental retardation the resultant iq we will give for the child will be mild uh, mr only so important thing is ki dono ko in uh, any iq report both have to be given that is a thank you ma'am <clears throat> then coming to the department of cdgc in smih this is our occupational therapy room which is full of colors and taking all the safety precautions there are mattresses for the comfortable uh, comfortable therapy of the child for the comfortable therapy of the child uh, then there are certain 
colors the uh, room is full of colors pictures and uh, uh, considered in the all the things which are required for sensory integration are present in the room like there are certain steps which are uh, put in the last in these steps the child is made to walk one by one holding a hold the hand of an occupational therapist or the, uh, or the parent all the sessions are carried one to one only one occupational therapist one child and only one parent at a time so the child is made to uh, step in these uh, uh, in these uh, uh, stairs one by one is given a target ki yahan par ye jo rakha hua hai aap ye wale color ka lekar aao aur we will do uh, we will uh, do colors and uh, a different activities reaching the last so there is a target which is given in the last step then with this next we have the ball pool which is the favorite for children then we have the certain swings where children usually enjoy and they try to reach so they uh, they see those and they try they lift up their hands and try to hold the objects which is all a part of occupational therapy like it increases the uh, uh, fine uh, fine uh, fine motors it helps in gripping and other than this uh, ma'am bhavika ma'am also helps us with the uh, coloring of the child and uh, she gives the uh, uh, she uh, give uh, like puts the pressure in the pressure points of the joints so this all is included in the occupational therapy then coming to the another topic which is early interventions systemic and planned efforts promoting development through a series of manipulations of environmental or experimental factors initiated in the first years of life is early intervention <clears throat> it is done in children with physical cognitive communicative social emotional or adaptive developmental concerns or children who have a diagnosed condition that has a high probability of resulting in a developmental delay to make it in a simple natural language early intervention is a process of providing services education and support to children with developmental delay or those who are at risk of having a developmental delay which may affect their ultimate potential and their role in the society <clears throat> what are like what are the small small targets which are given like in physical patient uh, the child should have a reaching ability usko jo chahiye wo apna haath badhaye ya fir bole then the child should roll crawl and start walking at certain milestones then social the child should have should be involved in playing feeling secured and happy having a stranger anxiety in communications talking listening and understandings and in self help child should know eating and dressing so these are our primary targets for 0 to 5 years of children which we seek in early interventions what are the goals it enhances families understanding of infants limitation strength and needs it promote families ability to advocate for their child it provides support guidance and tips to the family then there are specific goals depending on the age strength needs and weaknesses it also helps the child to become productive and independent individual of the society early intervention includes parent infant relationship enhancements infant stimulation hearing and vision services medical nursing and nutritional services physical or occupational therapies psychological services social work services speech and language therapy what are the merits of early intervention it enhances the development of infants and toddlers with disabilities it reduces educational cost by minimizing the need for special education it minimizes the likelihood of institutionalization and maximize independent living 
and it enhances the capacity of families to meet their child's need. Then, how does it really works? How does intervention, uh, early intervention works? Like, what does it do, it do in the child that we get the improvements? So, it works with neuroplasticity, which is a new term. The term neuroplasticity is derived from the Greek word plastikos, which meaning to form. Neuroplasticity refers to the structural and functional changes in the brain that are brought about, brought about by training and experiences. The brain is the organ that is designed to change in response to experience. Thus, with every new experience, brain slightly rewires its physical structure. Experience alters neural development in at least three different ways. By influencing gene expression, by influencing release of certain neurotrophins, and by influencing release of certain neurotransmitters. Then, what are the types of plasticities in children? There are uh, three types of plasticity. First one being adaptive plasticity. In this, changes in, changes in neuronal circuit that enhances a spatial skill with practice, allowing the brain to adapt or compensate for the injuries. Then there are impaired plasticity, like in situation in which genetic or acquired disorders disrupt the molecular plasticity pathway, the, that, that is called impaired plasticity. Another is excessive plasticity. That can, this can lead to the disability through reorganization of new maladaptive neural uh, circuits That's, that causes neural disorders. Uh, like this exam, uh, this uh, picture shows that during the early months, there are a lot of synapses formed in the brain. The number of synapses in the new, newborn is equal to the uh, synapses formed in the adult brain. So what happens is, uh, with the, uh, as soon as the child is born and child faces the multiple environmental stimuli and the brain starts forming synapses. Now these synapses are though formed, but the child does not know, but these synapses are not uh, like trained enough. So the child does not know what to do when and what not to do. So with constant uh, interventions, the constant stimulations and the uh, learnings with the environment, the synapses align themselves according to the stimulus, which is called pruning. So this pruning occurs by four to six years in the child. And that is the role. And that is why early intervention is important to help in the pruning of the child. Like the maximum child will learn in this age will retain throughout. So that is the concept of neuroplasticity and synaptic pruning. Then Akriti, wait, I'll just, I'll just, uh, Akriti, yes. Akriti, just uh, wait. I'll just tell you in very simple thing. Uh, there is a Hebb's rule. Ki what what we use that grows, and what we do not use that we lose. So, jab, how we explain to parents also when the child is born, to brain cells bane hue hai, but unke aapas ke connections, right? Which is the synapses, wo abhi ban rahe hai. Right, and ye jo synaptic formation hai, that is the basis for learning. Jitne jada synaptic connections hote hain, utna jada hamara uh, improved learning hota hai. Jaise jaise brain banta hai, jaise jaise organization of brain hota hai, starting from in utero to two years, that is the maximum period with a full dendritic arborization is occurring, and the neurons are migrating to from the periventricular area to the cerebral cortex, the sixth layer, outer layer, right, and जैसे जैसे हम environmental stimulation देते हैं जो synaptic formation से हैं वो strengthen हो जाते हैं और bond strong हो जाते हैं जितना ज़्यादा environmental stimulation मिलता है जो synaptic connection strengthen और bond fix हो जाते हैं वो रह जाते हैं after two to three years where the synaptic connections are maximum 
उसके बाद विदरिंग होती है यानी लूजिंग ऑफ द सेनेप्टिक कनेक्शन होता है तो जो नहीं यूज होता वो धीरे धीरे विदर करके लूज हो जाता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टेल यू सपोज अ चाइल्ड कैन नॉट हियर राइट कंजनाइटल डेफनेस है तो उसका क्या होगा जो लैंग्वेज वाले सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन हैं क्योंकि उसको सुनाई नहीं दे रहा तो लैंग्वेज वाले सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन यूज ही नहीं हो रहे तो वो यूज ही नहीं हो रहे तो अगर कोई इंटरवेंशन नहीं होती फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉकलियर इम्प्लांट और एनीथिंग तो वो सारे सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन जो क्या होगा वो धीरे 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 विदर होके लूज हो जाएंगे तो इसीलिए आफ्टर थ्री ईयर्स धीरे 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 ग्रेजुअली चार से छह साल में वो खत्म हो जाएंगे लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स विल इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट इसीलिए जब हम कॉकलियर इम्प्लांट करते हैं तो हमारे जो बेस्ट रिजल्ट्स हैं वो जीरो टू टू या थ्री इयर्स में होते हैं उसके बाद जैसे जैसे हम बाद में करते हैं क्योंकि वो सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन तो प्रोन्ड हो गए हैं तो प्रोन्ड मीन्स एक्चुअली कम होना खत्म होना तो शुरू में थ्री इयर्स तक सारे सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन बढ़ते हैं हम जो कर रहे हैं अर्ली इंटरवेंशन में इन्वायरमेंटल स्टिमुलेशन देखे उन सनेप्टिक कनेक्शन को स्ट्रेंथन और स्ट्रॉन्ग कर रहे हैं तो जो नहीं होते स्ट्रॉन्ग और स्ट्रेंथन वो अल्टीमेटली जो यूज नहीं हो रहे वो खत्म हो जाते हैं ओके गो ऑन आकृति थैंक यू मैम देन व्हाट आर द सेंसिटिव एंड क्रिटिकल पीरियड्स ऑफ ब्रेन डेवलपमेंट सेंसिटिव इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द ब्रेन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग ड्यूरिंग अ लिमिटेड पीरियड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अ सेंसिटिव पीरियड हियर एक्सपीरियंस instruct neural circuits to process or represent information adaptive for the individual when experience alters the performance permanently such sensitive periods are referred to as critical periods this will be shown in the graph here in this graph as we can see in the pre school years the learnings are always more or in the early age the learnings are always more so this is the sensitive period in which the uh, there is always in scope for uh, improvements in hearing vision conceptualizations poor social skills can be managed in pre school year better and then uh, numbers intellectual disabilities these all are managed in pre school that is sensitive period is um, more in the pre school year and as the child develops as the child grows the all these uh, all these uh, learnings become slow so whatever impairment remains this remains uh, like this is difficult to treat in school or school year or in the later uh, later half of the life in the later half of the childhood uh, so like vision and hearing if not treated in the pre school years are difficult to treat in the school years then uh, improvement is slow in the uh, school years and this becomes the critical period of the uh, child uh coming to an end with this we have certain videos uh, this is a video of our special educator and this was my first day in the cdgc department where i was very fascinated to look at these autistic uh, autistic spectrum disorder children Uh, and uh, like when they interacted and when they spoke this was finally a new year beginning for me
Hello. Yes, sir. Audio is not there in this video, I think. Have you muted it? No, sir. So whatever they are uh, conversation uh, conversation between this therapist and this child is not actually audible. Mm. Um, uh, Ma'am, shall I play it like separately? Ah, uh, you can play it separately. No, is there audio is there in this video? Yes, or it is yes, just sir. for video. No, no yes, sir. sir. Audio is there. Wo usme yeah. aa raha. I don't know why. Hmm. Ma'am, shall I play it in a uh, like uh, separately? Ha, ha, ha. Alag se play kar do videos. Dekho usme shayad audio aa jaye. आकृति अभी ऑडियो सुन रहा है वीडियो नहीं दिख रहा वीडियो में ये स्टिल दिख रहा है बस इसको हटाओ तब दूसरा लगाओ ना हाँ अभी ठीक है so in this video as we saw our special educator ma'am and ch child had a one to one interaction and uh, the activity is beads in a string where uh, this like uh, the half video is still not played uh, in this in the second half of the video the ma'am was also doing it uh, like there was one turn ma'am ka and one turn child ka so it was more like then ma'am got involved the output was more better and then uh, subsequently the child was talking to me also and she wished me a happy new year so uh, with this like with small small efforts and daily uh, daily uh, coming and daily taking the therapies there are results uh, seen which was uh, seen in the video but not played like the full video was not played and then we have another video of a physiotherapy uh, therapy department physiotherapy department in which uh, manish sir uh, 
Akriti, it is Sandeep. Uh, sorry, Sandeep sir uh, uh, holds the child and uh, there is a chair in which the child is made to uh, the child is made to stand. This is a child of cerebral palsy with the stiffness and rigidity. The child is not able to stand or walk or do any activities of daily living. So in this video, the child is made to stand using the support and then the child is tied, which helps him in standing and the task is given. So the child enjoys even this activity, this painful activity is also enjoyed by the child through different measures, which will be shown in the video. It's a small video. आकृति तुम्हारा वीडियो दिख नहीं रहा ऑडियो सुन रहा है बस I think you need to open the computer sound from the Zoom. अभी हो गया, अभी हो गया, अभी दिख रहा है. Audio and video. So in this video, Sandeep sir helped the child first to reach the object. Like instead of providing an object in the hand, sir made the child reach the object and then made to complete the task. So again, a one-to-one -one interaction with the physiotherapist, the child and the uh, parent, which helps in the uh, proper upbringing, which is our ultimate target. With this, I end the seminar. Thank you. Thank you, Aditi. Akriti, sorry. Thank you, ma'am. I hand over to Dr. Shobit. Everyone, I think Dr. Shobit is having some issues with his connection. So, very nice presentation. And uh, uh, this is a good beginning of uh, interaction with the two departments. Uh, I would ask the participants if they have any questions. Uh, if you have any questions, you can address that to the presenter. One thing more I would like to suggest. Yes, sir. Now, there should be involvement of uh, one pediatric resident also. Right. You know, it should be a comprehensive talk where uh, you should divide domain as per the need of that uh, topic, but uh, because what will uh, what I have seen that there was less involvement from pediatric side. Right. Maybe it is because of it is the first uh, venture of interdepartmental meet, but I think there should be both departments involvement. Maybe the major part can be contributed by the uh, secretary or with this uh, domain, but there should be two-way communication. It should not be only one way. That is my suggestion. That's very good. Yes, sir. It, is, it, is, it is the first, I think, first of these meetings. I think that we can uh, do this in future and divide uh, the talk in two parts where the pediatric resident can take care of uh, or talk of the, uh, the pediatric parts and Psychiatry resident can also but uh, uh, say talk on the subject on that matter. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
we can also have uh, you know, like, it is uh, good basically uh, my my once you start a initiative take a initiative then right. you learn best you pass through that process right. so right. Uh, the impetus which i got from this talk it was a very good talk and right. it was a very good introductory part because augmentation of that uh, knowledge that what kind of services or what kind of therapies we are providing in our center is mandatory for all of us to get acquainted with that but right. that is a very nice uh, thing but what i mean to say in future course of action we can improve or we can involve more people uh, by involvement of uh, our residents also or our faculty members also certainly thank you certainly. thank you shruti and uh, thank you uh, dr kriti i think okay akriti sir akriti yes, Akriti, Akriti, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Dr. Akriti, for your a uh, very informative talk, especially for uh, psychiatry people because they are not uh, used to coming to our CDC uh, center. And uh, I also thanks to Dr. Uh, Shobhit and uh, Dr. Mohan Dhani and all psychiatry department that they have taken a very good initiative in this way so that we both can have. Uh, better interaction and ultimately we are going to achieve better patient care in our institute thank you thank you so much sir for your comments dr shruti uh, may i have your comments uh sir uh, yeah i i fully agree with uh, dr utkash so from next time uh, we will have one uh, pediatric resident also presenting uh, along with the psychiatry resident so uh, the full interdepartmental uh, motivation and uh, participation would be there that's a very very nice suggestion and uh, yes it was the first time and uh, it was a really good experience having the psychiatry residents uh, attached although uh, unfortunately uh, it was like that time when akriti was posted there were winter vacation and i was also on leave so uh, i think in 15 days i think i got to interact with akriti for a very short time i think 3 4 days only but in that also i think she has picked up very well and in my absence also i think along with therapist and all she has learned quite a well so my my goal uh, is achieved i hope uh, i am able to uh, what dr shobhit also had in mind by sending the residents he uh, he also is satisfied or anything else that i can add on to that you all can suggest thank you ma'am yes it is it was a, it's a very good beginning uh, what we see in uh, like we see a lot of uh, child for disorders patient and there is a, a sense of you can say a little pessimism when it comes to, to uh, these patients because pharmacotherapy is limited but uh, say behavioral therapy and uh, these interventions work wonders and uh, if residents see them for sent they will develop more interest i think in the theory part also if you read only theory uh, you tend to become you can say bored but when you see that in action you see uh, the therapist working and then you see the results it is very encouraging so and that was included in the presentation also very good and i think uh, it, it it increases interest of everyone so a very good beginning and i think we will continue to collaborate thank you dr shruti so much for uh, uh guiding dr akriti dr akriti made a very good presentation uh, thank you dr utkarsh and uh, i would like to thank everyone for uh, attending this and uh, if there are no further comments i think we can uh, end the session here yes sir thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank okay you. thank you sir thank you ma'am okay we can end the session here i think okay